Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to send email from the Jenkins. Is it means email notification in Jenkins? How exactly we can configure these things on the Jenkins? This is very very important whenever you are configuring any CI/CD pipeline for your automation project. So let me uh, go to the uh, let me go to the uh, my Jenkins URL. So let's see guys. So this is my Jenkins URL. Basically we have let me insert the my admin password over here and once i am done these things guys i need to click on this sign in button once i click on the sign in button i will be landed on the dashboard of this login uh, of this not login of the jenkins home page once this is done guys now what exactly i need to do this is my dashboard so i need to go to this manage jenkins so whenever you wanted to perform some kind of whenever you wanted to perform some kind of changes uh, in the Jenkins, you must need to click on this manage Jenkins. So here I'm clicking on this manage Jenkins guys. Uh, once I'm clicking on this manage Jenkins, if I'm uh, scrolling down here, you can see some options I can see over here. So config system here, uh, like you need to click on this configured system. Once I'm clicking on this configured system, you need to scroll down guys. Okay. Okay, let let open first and here you can see it's loading. You need to scroll down uh, on the bottom of this page and you can find out I'm scrolling down over here and here you can see guys email notification options you can see over here. Okay, once you are once you are once you are observing this email notification options. So this SMTP server you need to provide over here smtp.gmail.com this uh, uh, this this email id you need to provide over here this smtp server url you need, must need to provide over here this default usage email suffix let uh, let it be as it is once this is done you need to click on this advanced options guys once you click on this advanced options you can see you are this use smtp authentication these options you need to select over here once you are selecting these options you will get these two options username and password so whatever email id you will have just provide this email id over here once this is done guys what exactly you need to do you need to click on this password now you might have a question which password i need to insert over here so i need to provide over here my gmail account password the answer is no guys so before the before the what guys before uh, may 2022 our gmail account is allowing to do these kind of things but now they they are they are not allowing to us now they are not allowing to access the third party application so for that there is a, another way they introduce to us so what kind of password i need to provide over here just let it this side let it this website as it is and let let switch to your gmail account once you go to this gmail account you need to click over here guys this gmail account and here you can see manage your google account here you need to click once you click on this manage your google account your security tab will be open like here home tab will be open and on this home tab you need to click on this security uh, tab once you click on this security tab please make sure that you must need to on this this two step verification if you don't uh, if if you are not able to see like this two step verification is off then what you need to do guys you just simple you need to click over here and just 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 do the verification like you you will get the three options like using the map using the mobile number using the email account or using the call these three options any one options you can choose over here and you will get the otp or you will get the call or you will get the email on your gmail account and this is how you can complete your two step verification when this is done what what next you need to click on this app password guys okay well, you need to click on this app password i'm just clicking on this app password over here okay once you are clicking on this app password again you need to provide your again you need to provide your valid gmail account password okay once you are providing your valid gmail account password you will be landed on this app password key now here you must need to i already added two three uh, application key over here so if you wanted to add new key and if you wanted to add uh, like if you are creating the first time key what exactly you need to do you just need to select the app now i don't need to select mail calendar contact youtube so I don't need to I don't need to generate the key for this kind of app so here I'm just need to mention the other and here what exactly you need to do I just need to mention Jenkins over here okay 
Jenkins over here. Once this is done, I need to click on the generate button. Once you are clicking on the generate button, you might observe the key will be generated. Like key will be generated. You just need to what what you need to do, guys. You just need to uh, copy that key. Now here, if, if I'm clicking over there, this is how basically key will be generated. Okay. Once this is done, you you need to copy that key which is uh, available in the yellow highlight, and you just need to paste that key over here. Okay, you just need to paste that key over here. Once you are you, once you are done with these things, guys, what exactly you need to do? You just need to check this box, use SSL, secure uh, socket layer, you are accepting or not, and SMTP port 465, you must need to mention. Once this is done, these are the by default setting you will have. You just need to click on this apply and you just need to click on this save button. This is the only changes you need to make. Okay. Once you are done with these things, guys, you again landed on this page. Okay. And what exactly I'm trying to do? I'm just creating the new page or new uh, project over here. Like this is a view. So for project creation here, I need to select this new item. And once this is done, what exactly I'm doing, guys, I'm just selecting the uh, like uh, demo test. Demo test bio. This is uh, T -E -S -T -S -T. Okay, demo test for you. This item I'm going to create, and this is freestyle project I'm going to create, guys. Once this is done, I'm clicking on this OK button. Okay, once I'm clicking on OK button, my project freestyle project will be created over here. Okay, now my freestyle create project is created over here. Now, once this is done, now what what will be next, guys? Now here you can see multiple options we we have. So here let it be all these options and just click on this save button. Once you are clicking on this save button and if I'm building now, if I'm clicking on this build now project, now my job like once this job here you can see guys, my job is automatically triggered. My build is happening over here. Now once now my job is passed over here. So what exactly I can do if I'm go going to console here, you can see my job is running successfully. And if I'm navigating my Gmail account, let me refresh my Gmail account, guys. I need to make sure that am I getting any email notification over here? So here the answer is no. Okay, the answer is no over here. So I don't get any email notification over here. Why? Because of we we miss some steps. What steps we miss? Let me go to the uh, again dashboard. Okay, let me go to the dashboard. Let me go to the manage Jenkins. Okay, let me go to the configure system, and let me go to the again that email email notification thing. Let it open first. Okay, once you open now, uh, scrolling down the thing. Here I need to scroll down all these things and I'm going down here. You can see guys. I am just uh, Whatever things I already explained you so once you are done with these things once you are done with this thing like inserting the email ID and password You must need to check key is is this email is properly configured how you are going to check here You can see test configuration by sending test email So here you just need to click over here and here you can provide your email ID connect 20215 at the rate gmail.com Okay gmail.com and here I need to check the like test the configuration like whatever uh, whatever uh, Credential I'm providing over here. Is that correct or not? Here you can see guys you will get a notification email was successfully sent so here I'm checking now Am I getting the proper email? Let me refresh and here you can see guys. I got the proper email like my Jenkins is configured successfully over here. Okay. Once this is done, let let uncheck this program. Okay. Let uncheck this program and save it. Okay. Once this is done, what, what will be next guys? Okay. Here you can see this demo five project, this demo five project I created. Let me go inside this project. But if I'm running this program, if I'm running this not program, if I'm running this job, still I'm not getting any email notification. This is the main question. The, the point over here is why exactly the email notification is not getting over here. This is the main question. So what exactly I need to do? I need to go to the configured, like whatever job we have in that job configured option, option we have. So I just need to click on that configured button. And here you can see again your screen is loading. Okay, once your screen is loading, now what exactly you need to do? You need to go to here post build action. Okay, you need to go to here post build, post build actions. And here what you need to do guys, you need to select this 
post bill action option okay so here i am selecting the editable email uh, editable email options i can see over here okay once i am selecting over here you can see guys multiple options you can see okay once this is done i am just uh, clicking on this save button okay once i am uh, done with these things save button and i am i'm just clicking on this build now options once i am clicking on this build now options you can see guys my job is again triggered okay my job is again triggered and ideally you should get an email notification now let me refresh this thing and here you can see guys here you can see my i i got the email notification for whatever build i i run here you can see the build url also you will get and whatever build like build 2 is successfully passed now the thing over here is now if i'm going to console of this report let me go to the console let me go to this build first second build i need to go and let me go to this console output if i'm going on this console output here you can see this log you can see guys now what i want what is my requirement whatever log i am getting over here i i get the email notification with this complete log so what exactly i need to do again i need to go to this job demo test file job and here i need to click on this configure button once i am clicking on this configure button what exactly i need to do guys i need to scroll down and whatever post actions we have whatever post actions we have I need to select the post actions here. You select the editable email notification and you need to scroll down and here, here attach build log options you will have. So here the by default setting is do not attach build log. So instead of these things, you need to select the attach build, attach build log options. Once you are selecting this attach build log, you just need to click on this apply button and you need to click on this save button. Once this is done, you again, you need to build this job now. Okay, here you can see you are like again third build is like it is automatically triggered. Once this is done, let let it finish first this build. Now once this is done, uh, now let me go to let me go to this build build three. Okay, and now I need to go to this console output. Now here you can see multiple logs you can see over here. Now let me go to the my Gmail account and here you can see probably I will get the here you can see guys I will get the build three successful result. This is this is the options i will get over here and not this one guys this is this is uh, here this is you can see guys this is the by default id by default things i am getting over here with the complete log here you can see guys this is the complete build log i can get over here this is the what exactly i wanted to tell you and this is how exactly we can send email through the jenkins to your gmail account and this is how we can configure your email notification into the jenkins this is the thing i wanted to tell you guys uh, in this video if you really like please do like this video subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching thank you guys